A Boeing 767-300ER operated by Delta Airlines was flying from Milan to New York when it was significantly damaged from severe turbulence and hail on Monday, July 24th. The incident prompted the pilots to declare an emergency and divert to Rome. For today's video, let's look at the details of the flight and the damage sustained by the aircraft. According to FlightAware data, the aircraft, November 189 Delta November, was operating flight DL-185 to New York John F. Kennedy International Airport from Milan Malpensa. After taxiing for around 20 minutes, the jet took off from runway 35 right at 12.52. It would then continue climbing to 23,000 feet, remaining at that altitude for approximately two minutes. According to the Aviation Herald, the crew stopped climbing at 23,000 feet and rerouted to Rome Fiumicino International Airport. November 189 Delta November landed safely on runway 16 right without further incident and with no injuries reported. Data indicates that the aircraft landed at 1355 and arrived at the gate at 1405, just over an hour after departing from Milan. A listener on an ATC frequency reportedly said the pilot claimed that the flight suffered severe turbulence, hail, and a cracked windshield. It was reported that the jet sustained substantial damage. This included punctures in the jet's right wing, holes in the spinners of both engines, damage to the fan blades, a punctured ray dome, and dents on the leading edges of the wings. A Delta Airlines spokesperson confirmed the incident to Simple Flying, offering the following statement. Delta Flight 185 from Milan to New York JFK diverted to Rome after experiencing an apparent weather-related maintenance issue shortly after departure. The flight landed safely in Rome where passengers deplaned normally and where maintenance personnel is conducting a thorough evaluation of the aircraft. The exact reason for the crew choosing to divert to Rome, which is over 300 miles away from Milan, in the opposite direction, has not been confirmed but a few factors could have played into the pilot's quick action. Weather conditions in Rome were reportedly better at the time, making diversion procedures easier for the crew. Additionally, accommodating the affected passengers at Rome Fiumicino could have been more logical for Delta, considering the airline operates other flights at the airport. SkyTeam Alliance partner Eta Airways also operates a hub at Rome. Another factor could be that November 189 Delta November could have had extra fuel that needed to be burned off to land safely. That could have prompted the pilots to choose the most operationally convenient airport rather than the closest, according to one mile at a time. At the time of this video's production, the aircraft remains on the ground in Rome. What do you think of this incident? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.